Hey guys, it's my manicure is on Realtor. Today I'll be talking about a couple things. First of all, we'll be talking about the Arizona real estate market updates or and predictions for next year. Also, I'll be talking about some funds that government created to help homeowners keep their homes and also some good news for renters as well. So stay with me. First of all, uh, I got so many questions from my clients, friends, people I met every day. How is the real estate doing? What's going to happen? You know, should we sell? Should we buy? Should we do? So honestly, um, I can just tell you what I know, what I heard from some real estate economists and some, you know, smart people in real estate. Uh, however, uh, I don't think so that anybody can uh, predict what's going to happen. Nobody could predict pandemic or you know life is unpredictable in generally so i think every every situation and every um everybody is unique and you should look what's best for you so if you're renting if you're selling if you're a buyer so it really depends um so i can just tell you what um, they're predicting for next year what's going to happen so we should see more supply which it's great because that was the problem we didn't have enough homes on the market and we had lots of buyers as you know coming migrating from california colorado state of washington illinois everybody wants to come to here and live in arizona because it's beautiful it's sunny and you know yeah we have some hot summers a couple months but you know everybody has pools and it's, i think it's a great place to live however and many others so but that was causing a lot of problem for the buyers who went through lots of um a hassle just to get a home they had to uh, waive inspections waive appraisals go over the price asking price it was a bidding war a real bidding war and i feel so bad and so sorry for buyers who don't have extra cash who was not able to get the home so i must it must be very stressful for them um however that's passed hopefully and next year 2022 should have a much more balanced and stable market so buyers you know uh hopefully you saved enough money <laughs> to put for your uh, down payment because you will still need some money and um yeah just uh, let me know um i'll be happy to show you around um for sellers as well i think you should be okay too it's still a seller's market if you just won't be able probably to see this crazy multiple offer situation and those all kinds of things and you might be um you might have to negotiate for some repairs or you know so it's going to be a little different for you but nothing to to worry about also renters um even if um there is so many, even the interest rates were so low, still people was not able to qualify. Now with the, this uh, new uh, law that's coming, uh, they will take in, um, they will look into the, Fannie Mae will consider the rental payment history uh, in qualifying buyers, which will enlarge the pool of uh, eligible buyers still. I think we will still need lots of more homes and more affordable homes and also rentals. Uh, one more thing I don't want to forget about <laughs> the most important thing is this uh, fund, the Homeowner Assistance Fund that was created to help homeowners, homeowners keep their homes. And that money can be used for anything rel relating like your mortgage, your in in uh, insurance, your utilities, even your um, internet bill so it's a great program if you need more information about that please let me know my number is 402982452 and i can refer you to some people who can help with that uh, if you need help with buying selling uh, renting investing um, you know who to call <laughs> and also i want to thank you for watching my video i want to wish you a, a great um, new year and uh, 
holiday season to be less stressful and to enjoy more, um, wish you more peace, love, joy. Take care of yourself, that's number one. So I'll give you one tip that just 10 minutes walk every day can make a huge, um, huge impact on your health in a good way, of course. So um, that'll be it for me. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, I'm always here to sit down and talk to you and uh, explain everything I can and help as much as I can. Thank you again. Bye.